What's up, guys? Coffee and Gaming 24-7 with me, someone better. And we're to, I think we're going with Bonnie to Armadillo. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Oh, did you see that guy? <laughs> Crash right into the wagon. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go wake his night. <laughs> I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. Farland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. All right, go to the docks. How would Armadillo get by without me? Why, hello. Medicine. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Why, thank you. Okay, so my health is the right, is the bar on the right of the circle. Down on the left, and if I press start, I can go to or select actually and go to medicine and use it and it sort of helped oh it's not going oh it is going up the red bar is going up so I should heal pretty quickly Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time.
up on the D-pad. We'll call your horse. Bow down, and you will not perish. What's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gun store. Gotta check this out. How are you, mister? We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? Nothing yet. Can't find anything really yet. Thank you very much. I hope you keep protected. Bye now. Alright, let's head back. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait, he's here. Alright, next mission right here, Sheriff. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you! Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what, you, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? <clears throat> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Oh, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here, doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter.
The saloon's this way. Nonsense. Farewell. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's oh, go, Marshall. A little bit early on the uh... that son of a bitch for months. How do you do? God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. As long as it's alive. <laughs> I'm getting after him. Catch me up. This horse is as bad beat, as you man. say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Don't back out on me now, Marshal. <laughs> I jumped on this horse because I think this horse is faster, and if I can break him, come on, come on, I just hope I don't lose the mission because I jumped on this horse. I technically didn't go anywhere, so hopefully he. Come on, nearly got you. Nope, failed the mission. Oh, that's so annoying. That would have been a way better horse. I gave it a shot. It's just rare that a horse comes running towards you like that. Oh well. I really need to break a horse. I need to go get a good horse. This horse goes straight to beat. It's got like three legs. Ah, oh, come on. the top screw. Let's get after him. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. Where the heck is my horse? Fine day, I see. Can't lose that trail, boy. Catch up with me when you can. Where do you think he's headed? They use Twin Rocks as a base. They got hideouts all over. Walton ain't stupid enough to stay in one place for too long. He sure looks stupid enough for anything. <laughs> he's a slippery son of a bitch, all right. And crazier than a peeled rattler. If you want to stay alive, Marston, you need to start learning not to trust that judgment of yours. What's that supposed to mean? You know exactly what I mean. Oh, now it has more stamina? Still, I'm gonna go get a good one. Hold up, Marston. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. I'm gonna have to kill somebody. <laughs> Looks like we got company, boys! <laughs> Damn! Take cover! We'll work our way up this hill. All right. Here, now I can show Take you the uh, behind that wagon to your right. Me. Come on. Put it in me. Oh my good god. You guys are great, Marston. Smoke him up. Dead eye. For the great boy. I'll cover you. You better be at peace with the Lord. That fool behind the rock is yours, Marston. <laughs> Slow-mo stuff. I think you've 
rack up this piece of land long enough. Move up to that rock. I'll keep you covered. There's another one behind the outhouse, boy. Jesus wept. Yes. Oh. Good. Now move up to the outhouse, Marston. You're about to go meet your maker, and I doubt he's too happy with you. Up here, cocksuckers. Blast you. Somebody, Don't annoy me, pal! That's Walton inside the house. Let's see if we can take him alive. Fire. Oh, okay. Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. <laughs> Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. All right, I should be able to take one of those brown... Yeah. Those horses right there. there. They should be better. Until I can find another one. I think I get a outfit as well. Search all these people. Right here, yeah. What have we they got usually here? have ammo. And then there are those on the map, they're like little X's. Yeah, there you go. Swipe one of these horses. Yeah. Whoa, 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 turn, turn, turn. Yeah, the stamina on this one's a little bit better. I think they were robbing him. I think I'm taking this horse. Come on. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Bonnie. Let's go. Get those done first. I'll show, I'll show you hunting next time. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna see if I can buy the, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pretty sure you can get, you can steal horses too. I don't want to have to. Oh, it probably wasn't good. All right, if I hitch this horse here, 
I should be able to keep it then. Yeah, it's saving it. Alright, I'm gonna try to go buy this house. So I can save my game here. Yes, this horse is your trusted steed. Let's see if I can afford this. Not enough cash. Oh, come on. How much cash do I have? Forty. Oh, four dollars? Really? I'm gonna have to go kill somebody? I'm gonna have to kill somebody walking around in the desert so I can get four bucks to buy a house. Come on. Be some random people out here. Go. Hey, you there! Look at that! Look at mouth does all open up your head. I should have enough money now. I need it more than you now. Oh yeah, there was a chest, so I definitely got some stuff. There's a lot of like holdups and murders out here. I, I haven't. Last time I played, it wasn't that bad. Oh yeah, okay. I skin in their horse now. <laughs> you can sell the meat. Or at least the skin, I'm not sure. But yeah, look at the horse. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can take that wagon, but I can't really do anything with it. Back to the town, and I'm gonna save it. Come on. I gotta start using the, the dead eye, otherwise, I'm gonna die more often. should be a chest in here as well. Yep. I should go out there and help them, but I'm gonna save the game. And alright guys. Um come back next time. Thanks for watching.